This is a Mercedes-Benz ML63 AMG, and it's going to be our test bed for the Ghost 10 in a ported enclosure. This is as close as I have to a normal vehicle that people requested we do testing in. If you're not familiar with this size of vehicle, it's smaller than a Tahoe, larger than a Trailblazer or Explorer, uh, smaller than an Expedition, so kind of in between there. We've got our RTA mic right up there at the headrest, where your head would be, where you'd be listening to. We've got our RTA set up right over here. I'll have you on the screen so you can watch that happening in real time. Or a van that's currently for sale. And this setup is going through a wire to our 5500 AF that I will be controlling from up here. This way I can control very precisely everything that's going on. So we're gonna stick you on the RTA over here. we've got a peak up here around 42 and a dip down here around 57 and if you watch the 12 video we got the same result this is a result of the vehicle if you watch the uh, on bench uh, where it was a flat response you can basically see how the vehicle in that listening position is not flat uh, but to 35 Hertz uh, which is a little bit lower than where this box is tuned uh, right that neighborhood that's where it falls off see it falls off pretty well and the rest of that's kind of the vehicle picking it up but uh it normally would be flat if it weren't for that pesky vehicle interior having this massive peak and this massive dip so now we're going to throw in the sealed enclosure and uh based on the bench rta that you saw we should get a pretty similar result sealed now for the seal, it's a little bit different because I picked the wrong box and forgot to check mounting depth and it's just slightly not quite deep enough. So this one's gonna be firing up. I think it'll be too top heavy if we try to fire it back, but we should get a similar result with how all of this is. So let's check out how the sealed box does. Again, we see our little peak in that same spot, our dip in the same spot, but it's otherwise pretty flat outside of that. So in terms of the sound quality system, uh, you could adjust this out with the DSP uh, and then go from there, but these will work very well in a sound quality application. What other tests would you like to see? Would you like to see it in a different vehicle? Would you like to see maximum SPL? How else would you like to see the Ghost line tested? Let me know in the comments below. As of the time of posting this video, the Ghost series is not posted on EMF Car Audio just yet, but they will be soon and we'll open pre-order as soon as we're ready to, which should be relatively soon. You can also check out our AF line of amplifiers, the 2000, 4000, 5500, and 7500 as well. And don't forget to check out all of the other Ghost Line testing videos.